Hi, I'm Anastasia and in today's video I'll show you how you can create and schedule your Pinterest pins in bulk and all the process can be done in just one tool. I've been testing it and I found that it has some very unique features that will help you save a ton of time and that will help you automate the process to a whole new level that you cannot achieve yet with other social media scheduling tools. You can just click on the first link in the description below and you will get a free access to this tool for 7 days. You can start your introduction by just submitting a URL from your site right here on the home page of Pin Generator. I suggest that you use a page that has some images on it and that is not the home page of your website. Any specific page like a product page if you have an e-commerce site or an article page. So this is our step number one to generate pin designs automatically. I've used a URL of one of my recipe posts, which has about three different photos on this broccoli soup. In a few seconds, the tool will allow you to pick any images from the page and I will only keep the photos and will not use any pins with the text overlay that I already have on this page. And the tool will generate a bunch of pin designs using their templates and my images, as well as the text from the SEO title of this recipe post. The pin designs are quite decent and my pro tip for you, as I've been marketing on Pinterest for over 5 years now, is don't use any templates where the text overlay is at the bottom part of the pin. Users on Pinterest just scroll down and ideally the first thing that they would be seeing is your text overlay, which explains better than images what the pin is about and why they should click on this pin. What you can do here is find in the left menu templates and remove this randomized setting. And now instead of getting random designs, you can pick only those templates that have the text overlay in the top or at least in the middle part of the pin. See, now none of my generated pins have a text overlay in the bottom part. This little detail can increase your click-through rates and drive you a lot more traffic from the same amount of pins. So I hope this deserves a like on my video. You're not just watching TV, right? We're on YouTube and you have many ways to vote for quality content on this platform. Give me a thumbs up and comment below and tell me what you like, what you don't, because educational videos are rarely getting as much engagement and as clickbait or controversial content. But if you give YouTube more signals, you will benefit from it and the platform will get better as well. Now, I recommend you to also check these bulk settings and at least add your brand name and your homepage URL so that in respective elements on some of the templates, your brand and website will show up instead of the default text of the template. You can also upload here your logo, but it will look very small in most templates, which should be okay, but then I personally prefer to have no logos in my pins. I think that domain name or just brand name is more than enough. But since some of these templates will have a space for logo, it's best to upload something to not show the default placeholder image there. I recommend you to then save these design settings so that you can apply all that you've chosen so far to all future pins that you create for the same website. And if you don't find that the existing templates always work well for you, then you can go to templates and create a bunch of your own dynamic pin templates if you have something specific in mind that you need. You can choose from different sizes and formats of pins when you create those new templates. You can also click here on share templates to check out and save to your account any of the templates that have been already shared by other pin generator users. Okay, that was about the pin design, but you can then work with your pin titles and descriptions right here as well. Just click on this pencil icon and you can edit your pin title and description. And if you click on this blue icon, you can also use an integration, an integrated AI tool to generate a longer description and a bit different title for each of your pins. You can do it on every pin separately and then save each pin just like I did. But it wouldn't be a bulk create tool if you couldn't generate pin titles and descriptions for all of your pins at once. And here is how. If you look on the left menu for the AI tools, you will find that you can add a bunch of keywords. And by the way, while you're typing the keywords, the tool will likely give you several related keyword suggestions. So you can use them or add anything that you think that would make sense here and I think it's better to add about three to five different keywords 
if you can, so that AI tool has options to create different text variations from them. By the way, if you want to learn more about Pinterest SEO and how to find the keywords that you should target in your pin titles and descriptions, then check out my free Pinterest masterclass. I'll give you a link to it up there and also in the description below. Now you can just click to generate new titles for your pins and once they are ready, you will see that they look similar, but they're not 100% the same. They all are a slight variation of the same topic using different keyword combinations. You can click also to generate AI pin descriptions. It will take a bit longer here because the descriptions are longer text. It's up to 500 characters. But when they're ready, you will see that we have now a unique pin description for every pin and that the texts are much longer than our original description and it now includes all additional keywords that we asked the AI to include. Now our next step is to schedule the pins that we just generated. Look on the left to find the button Add a Pinterest profile. You should be logged in to your Pinterest account in this browser and then find this red button to allow Pin Generator connect to your Pinterest profile through Pinterest's official API, so you don't have to share your login details at any point with this tool. This, by the way, shows that Pin Generator is a scheduler approved by Pinterest and that you can use it safely to schedule your pins. And before you schedule any pins, I recommend you to check our scheduling settings here because it will make things easier down the road. If you click on the Schedule settings, you will see that the tool recommends saving between 20 and 30 pins for established accounts, but for newer accounts it's best to reduce this number to 5 to 10 pins a day. Also you will see the recommended best time for pinning and I would keep this as it is, but in the time zones I would change it to New York time because most of the Pinterest users do live in the United States. Now we get back to our pins and you can click on each one of them and select one of these options. The first option simply sends your pins to the queue and it occupies any available slots in your schedule. If you selected one board, it will be just one pin which is fine, but if you selected two boards or more, it will schedule the same exact pin to several boards at once, and your pins will end up really close to each other, which can trigger spam filters on Pinterest. So this first option is only good if you want to save each pin image to one specific board. The second option allows you to choose a specific date and time when you want the, this pin to be saved. But again, be careful if you selected more than one board, because the same exact pin will end up being saved to more than uh, one board at the same exact moment. Again, use this method only if you selected just one board. The third version is Create Auto Pin, and it's the most advanced scheduling option. Here you can have just one pin design, but make auto pins that the tool will automatically diversify in terms of templates, and even the text for the pins can be unique every time. You can choose to save auto pins every 7 days and it's a safe interval recommended by Pinterest if you want to save different pins from the same page. Then you can choose that you want the tool to automatically generate a new pin image every time and you can select this option that it should be saved to only one board at a, at a time and the boards will be selected randomly from the list of the boards that you selected for this pin. You can also ask AI to generate a different text for the pin titles and descriptions every time. And you can decide when your campaign should end. So if you want to make four different pins with, say, seven day intervals, you could select a day about a month from now. I want to mention a few other things that you should know about and use in Pin Generator if you need them. First, it's the tool has an integration with Paxels and it's a free stock image site and you can find some great images to be used on your pins in case you don't have your own images. So you can search for some keyword and then select as many images or videos as you want and they will automatically be added as a background to your pins. And for more advanced users who like to work with CSV files, Pin Generator even has an option that allows you to upload a CSV file and schedule multiple pins at once. This is perfect for those site owners who have all things well organized and that they know the URLs of images on their site. 
People with SEO for Google background often keep track of things in Excel sheets, so they also like to bring the same processes that they are used to when they're marketing on Pinterest. You can check a demo CSV file that includes the pin title, the description, destination URL, and the image URL. This feature is really a cherry on the cake, and only a handful of experienced website owners might need to use it, but I remember that someone actually asked me if I knew any Pinterest scheduler that would allow uploading CSV files like these, so I thought it was worth mentioning this feature as well. Again, if you want to try and test Pin Generator, use my link in the description below. And now, if you want to learn how to make your pin designs really click-worthy, check out my free video linked up there, but not just yet. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in your feed, and I'll see you in that next video.